What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 2. Here we go boys. Today's episode is gonna be a ton of fun. I hope you guys are ready for this. So here we go. Championship sign up. What we're gonna be doing is a hyper cars championship. So here we go. We'll go ahead and do that one. We're signed up for it. Now the question is what type of car are we going to be using? Well, you guys probably already know because of the thumbnail and the title and everything else, I guess. Hey there, but uh, what we're going to be using is the Lamborghini Veneno right here. Check out this bad boy, dude. One of the sexiest cars I've ever laid my eyes on. This thing is just absolutely insane. And there's no, like... Yeah, granted, the Batman paint job is pretty sick. There's really no paint job that's going to do this thing justice apart from the uh, the manufacturer color right here. Actually, I follow one of the guys on, um, on Instagram that owns one of these things. There's only a few made. And he lives down in Miami. And I wish he, like... I wish he followed me back so I could like go and like see his car and like give him a shout out on Instagram or something like that. I'm gonna try to hit him up about that. But uh, he lives in Miami and he owns one of these things and it's just like, it's honestly insane. Just like th this car is so just absolutely incredible. And uh, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing what this thing could do. We did use this thing in uh, a bucket list event when we did the, um, right. the official playthrough this of this game, but we haven't raced in it yet, so. She's I'm pretty excited. This championship. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we're going to start off here. Might as well do this one. A hypercar circuit race. It's circuit grandiose. Let's see what we can do, boys. This thing is so nuts. All right, I'm pumped for this. I have no clue what the interior even looks like. Let's take a quick peek, see. Wow. All right, cool. So we're just going to leave that at that. <laughs> You guys will see the interior of this bad boy in the second race today, but you guys can see like we're just cruising at a 95 miles an hour, nearly 100 miles an hour. It's no big deal. Circuit grandiose. Let's go do this thing, dudes. I'm excited. Thank you, Tom. I'm like a kid on Christmas, man. I'm such a big car fan. I just absolutely love cars. Games like this are my cup of tea. All right, here we go. We've got a circuit race, boys. So I think what we're going to do, we've been in this area of the map for a while. So I think um, I think we'll do this one. And then I already have next episode's car in mind. And then we'll do another car in that championship class after that. And then we'll, we'll actually complete that championship. So not this episode, but next episode, we'll start a new championship. And then we'll complete that championship in the episode after that. And then we're going to road trip on to a, uh, a new area of the map, just so we can get some, some fresh scenery. Because I feel like we've been working with some of the same scenery at least recently, so... That's kind of our plan here, but... Right now, all the scenery I'm looking at is that ass. I'd rather look at this thing's backside than my girlfriend's. <laughs> oh, man. Don't tell her I told her that. But, um, yeah, this thing is... Ugh, it's just so sexy. It's so sexy, dude. Look how fast it is. It's like, look at us taking these corners. I can't wait to get them straight. We got a straight coming up. We're really going to open this thing up. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. All right, open her up, baby. We're going to have to do a top speed run at the end of this episode. We're going to go spawn in that super long set of track. But yeah, look at 166 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? 177. This thing is just... It's ridiculous. There's no, like, explanation for it. It's incredible that men can make machines like this. Like, think about just, like... Ten years ago, something like this wasn't even, it wasn't even fathomed. Think about cars like 30, 40 years ago. And just how much has changed since then. All I know is this first place guy is freaking dipping, dude. We can't catch up to his ass. We aren't even racing bad either. We took that corner too hard.
Oh shit. That was a bad turn. I'm not gonna lie about that. But he was like we were already doing really well and he was still just like uncatchable. Alright. What I I don't know what he did, but I think this one's a little bit out of our, our grasp here. Hopefully we'll be able to get a first place finish in the Benino in the second race. We'll have to wait and see what we can do. We got another Benino right behind us. Behind him, I can't tell what that was. Scratch my car, bro. There we go. That's how you execute turns. Don't go drifting around everything. Just let off the gas a bit, Trev. Too hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't even, like, my GTR, I, like, poop myself on the acceleration of the GTR. I can't even imagine what this thing's like. I guess it can't be that much quicker. But it's, uh, like, GT, like, 0 to 60, it won't be that much quicker. But 0 to, you know, 200, it would be a lot faster. So I can't even imagine what it feels like to get thrown back into the seat of this thing. Can you imagine the looks you would get from people in this car? Driving something? Like, this doesn't even look... I'm sitting here looking at the back end of this thing. It doesn't even look real. Look at the fin. Look at the freaking spoiler on this thing, dude. Like, it, it's, it's like a shark. Could you imagine? Like, what? <laughs> people would be like, what the hell? Like, people that aren't car people? We'll be like, what the hell are you driving? I've never seen anything like that. It's crazy. All right. Well, we just got absolutely destroyed. Like, I, it, it, like not even close demolished right there by a LaFerrari. This was still a good race. Oh, that thing just killed us, but... That's all right. Getting them rank up points, baby. You know what? We actually, we might finish. The, well, let's just make this one the championship we're going to finish. What do you guys got to say about that? We're going to make this one the championship we finish. So we really got to pay attention here. Let's go down to this one. So yeah, next episode, I was, I was going to do a, a, it wasn't going to be considered a hypercar. It was going to be considered like a, a supercar. Um, but we'll just do, we'll do another hypercar next up. Let's do the Pagani Huayra. Next episode. Or no, we'll do the LaFerrari. Why not? We just got beat by it. Keep your enemies close. So yeah, we're going to do the LaFerrari in the next episode. Which means that every race that we do here is eternally crucial. So we got to get wins to, uh, to get points. To earn these trophies, baby. Alright. Here we go. Let's start up the race. Inside the Menino. Look at this, dude. Oh, man. Absolutely nuts. Look at the, the red trim on the sun visors. That's pretty sick. That's just everything else in the car. What's always funny to me is you have these super, like, insanely nice cars. But then you look at the air vents. And it's like, those are the same air vents that you will find in any car all the way from a Lamborghini Benino down to a freaking Saturn. Like, every car, the air vents, like, you don't get luxurious air vents. They're just like, they're the typical vents. You've got the, the scrolly things to be able to open or close them. There's not really much, like, some of them are squares, some of them are circles, some of them you can rotate, but... At the end of the day, it's just an air vent. <laughs> like, I don't know why that like humors me so much, but it's just like these cars have got carbon fiber, they've got you know suede, they've got all this color contrast stitching, like everything is just luxurious to the nines, and then they've just got some average ass fans. I don't know. That's just something I've always noticed. Like the knobs and everything. Like yeah, I, I would want a car that has like diamond knobs. But like you can find, you know, knobs are in the nicest cars. You can also find a base model Ford. You know, it's just kind of funny the way that works out. Have we seen 
to be doing pretty well here. Can't see one car in our rear view. But apart from that, we're looking pretty good. Oh, wow, look at that wheel shaking. This guy needs to get his tires aligned. Took that last corner a little bit hot, but be able to pull through it here. We have one other car that's sticking with us. Everybody else is miles behind. Over here, we're going to slow it down. Oh yeah, that's how you take that turn right there. We have always struggled with that turn, but we just made it our B-I-I hit. Nice. Well, that's how you get a, a solid win there, boys. We had quite the lead in that one. You're making a habit of this. Making a habit of this, you damn right. Better be a habit. All right, so. Second place finish to first place finish with the Benino. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good performance, if you do ask me. But before we go, we are... Gonna check out the top speed capabilities. Y'all ready for this? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Can't touch this. Alright, so we're gonna spawn out here. And we are gonna see what kind of speeds we can get up to, boys. I'm pretty excited about this. Alright, so let's make sure we're heading the right direction. I think it spawns you in looking the wrong way, yeah. So we want to turn this party around. Hey mate, it's Ben. Um, so there's a rumor been bouncing around. Not worried about a barn find, sorry sir. Alright, so we're gonna start off outside just because it's easier to uh evade cars, obviously. Tom, get out of here. Normally we're on like a big highway when we do this. How come... Are we on the wrong part of the map? Where do we know... Oh, we do this over here. We do this on the big highway. Alright. So we're going to fast travel right here. We're going to go around the bend. We're going to do this on the big highway. Not a back country road. That wouldn't be a good spot to try to hit. I, what are we going to be able to hit here? 250? 260? I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're facing the right direction, but I want to turn around and get a little bit more of a head start. We have some good speed going into this turn, and we're gonna see, uh, gonna see what we can rack up. Here we go. You want to race, bro? All right, let's get this, boys. 130 miles an hour, 150 miles an hour. Going around this turn. 170. Can you imagine what would happen if you had a cone at 100? I actually don't know what would happen. Would you spin out? Did I really say 260 miles an hour? I didn't mean to say that. I meant like 220, 230. What am I talking about 260? Bugatti's can't even go 260. This thing's not that fast. Wow, we're really going to top out around 200 miles an hour? If I told you guys I wasn't a little bit disappointed, I'd be lying. Whoa! I cannot believe we just made it through that. That was honestly incredible. Alright, we've got a right hand coming up. Hand turn 190 miles an hour. Let's hit. Two, we didn't even hit 200. Oh, there it is. Oh, we still had another gear. We're cruising at 20, 204 here, 205. Six, seven. Two 
206, 205. 204. Man, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Let's let's slow this party down and just go ahead and take our winnings there. So yeah, 207 is the highest we were able to achieve there. 100,000 points earned. All right, good stuff. So anyway, we're going to head back to the, um, the hub here. I'm going to pick up a lot Ferrari, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Well, hopefully, we're going to do some work. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching.